Hello peeps, yeah I'm back again with another video So this is the 2022 team standings after the Austrian Grand Prix And that makes it the 12th Grand Prix of the season Yeah, because there's 22 And if it's halfway through the season, that's 12 in it So yeah uh, It's been an okay season, I've enjoyed the season so far Halfway through the season And yeah, it's been basically the whole like the first twelve races has been like Red Bull versus Ferrari, and you know both teams have dropped points, but Ferrari has dropped a bit more points. Really, they should be close. They should be very close in the constructors' championship, in which they are. But there's a little still a bit of a margin, and in the drivers' championship, uh, I feel like the driver skill of Max Verstappen is showing itself. I mean, if you compare the two cars in the similar paces, you know, it just shows you that Max's aggressiveness shows itself a bit more in the championship standings. But yeah, let's look at the team standings. And in first position, Red Bull Racing still in first position. I mean, they haven't been knocked off this spot, I think, from about the third or fourth race. So yeah, in second position... Uh, sorry, in first position you got Red Bull Racing with 359 points. In second position you got Scuderia Ferrari with 303 points. So if I'm calculating that, that's uh like 56 points. So Red Bull are 56 points ahead of Ferrari. In third position you have Mercedes AMG Petronas with 237 points. I mean... uh. George had a DNF in the last race and he finished fourth in this race, even though he dropped down to seventeenth after he had to had uh he had to come in a, he had a five second penalty for his collision with Sergio Perez. So I feel like there's a few points lost there for Mercedes, but yeah, they're still keeping in tabs with uh, uh Ferrari at the moment. And maybe they can salvage the season if they can pull out a, a good car. After France, you know, so I'm looking forward to the French Grand Prix, the next Grand Prix. So in fourth position, you got McLaren with 81 points, and Lando, Lando, and what's it called? Lando and Daniel finished the race yesterday at the Austrian Grand Prix. They had a. Let me just check results. Let me just check the results for the Austrian Grand Prix. Yeah, full race results. Lando and yeah Daniel Daniel F Ricardo finished in ninth position and Lando Norris finished in seventh position so that's a few points there for McLaren and yeah you know they keep chipping away but now look in fifth position you got Alpine so McLaren and Alpine have the same points I'm so shocked you know that that shows you that Fernando Alonso has raised this game and Esteban Ocon is still there and thereabouts you know me personally I rate Ocon quite a lot you know I, I give Ocon some credit and then in sixth position you got the Alfa Romeo so let's see Guanyu uh let's see what Valtteri finished Valtteri Bottas Valtteri Bottas finished in 11th and Guan Yu Zhou finished in 14th. So Alfa Romeo did not score any points at the Austrian Grand Prix. So they stuck at 51 points. And Haas F1 in 7th position. Yeah. In 7th position, Haas F1. Where did their drivers finish? It was Kevin Magnussen. Sorry, Mick Schumacher finished in 8th position and took 8 points. Brilliant for him. And Kevin Magnussen uh, finished in... Sorry, Mick Schumacher finished in 6th position and took 8 points. And Kevin Magnussen finished in 8th position. He took 4 points. So I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I feel like Haas is doing well, man. You know, their story is such a motivation because... Imagine, there was the last team in the last few years, you know, and they've risen up and... You know, they're doing their bits and they're making it happen. So, yeah, it shows you that, you know, you can't underrate any team in Formula 1. Once they get their head together, they can do something. And then you have in 8th position, you got Alpha Tauri with 27 points. And let me see where the drivers finished. And you have Pierre Gasly in 15th. 
So yeah, for the Alpha Tauri in eighth position, you have Pierre Gasly in fifteenth position. Uh, he was lapped, uh, and you got Yuki Sonoda, Yuki Sonoda in the same team, Alpha Tauri, in 16th position. So the Alpha Tauris did not have the greatest race, and I think Sonoda going to uh, no, I think Gasly going to uh, tangle with uh, Sebastian, you know. So yeah, uh, you know they had a, they didn't have the best race, but they always turn up to uh, the Grand Prix and you know drive fast. So you still go watch out for Alpha Tauri. Uh, climbing up the 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 table, and then looking at the you know the standings again in ninth position you got the Aston Martin racing, and I thought Sebastian Vettel had such an unlucky race. You know he was racing very well, he got into a couple of problems at the Austrian Grand Prix and he finished in seventeenth. Look at that Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll finished in thirteenth. I didn't really see him on a broadcast, so yeah, I didn't see much of Lance Stroll. So in ninth position, you have the Aston Martin Racing F1 team with 18 points, you know. So, you know, they've done, they've done well in the British Grand Prix, so yeah, they're going to keep collecting points. So Alpha Tauri's position is not safe. And in 10th position, you got Williams. You got Williams... Williams F1 with Alexander Albon, he finished in 12th, and Nicolas Latifi did not finish the race, you know, so, yeah, uh, that's the results, that's the team standings, so, let's, let's reiterate it again, in, in first position, you got Red Bull Racing, second position, you got Scuderia Ferrari, third position, you got Mercedes AMG Patronas, fourth position, you got McLaren, fifth position, you got Alpine, sixth position, you got Alfa Romeo, seventh position, you got Haas F1, eighth position, you got Alfa Tauri, ninth position, you got Aston Martin, and tenth position, you got Williams. But I feel like the Williams can score a bit more points and I'm sure Alexander Albon he'll be he'll be you know he'll be willing to score a bit more points and he'll be fighting hard for the next few races. And also I'm sure Nicolas Latifi wants to prove everybody wrong. All the criticism he's received and everything, he's gonna he's gonna try and prove everybody wrong. So yeah. And I enjoyed the last Grand Prix and to me this season it has been I would rate it about 7 out of 10, you know. At the moment, I would rate it 7 out of 10, you know. You've had, you know, wins for a few drivers and, yeah. You've had wins for a few drivers and there's been a few battles for the race wins. And the ra like, some of the races are boring when, when the Red Bull just wins outright and just no one can challenge him. But when Ferrari and Red Bull fight... Is more of a battle, and I feel like the uh, the championship might be decided on reliability. So the Red Bull and the Ferrari, they have to be reliable. You know, they have to give their drivers reliable cars for them to score the maximum points. And don't be surprised. I think the last time Ferrari won the constructors' championship was in two thousand and I think two thousand and eight. I'm not sure. Yeah, two thousand and eight. Where Hamilton won the championship and Ferrari won the constructors. And before that, they won it in 07 because Ferrari, uh, sorry, McLaren was banned. So it's been a long time since Ferrari won the constructors. And even if they don't get the drivers' championship, they wouldn't mind putting that trophy in the cabinet, you know, the constructors. So with with more pace and more upgrades, uh, the second half of the season is gonna be exciting, you know. It's gonna be exciting. And one more thing I want to touch on. The budget cap has been increased so the teams can spend a bit more money because they were struggling with the budget cap. I think it was it was like um, 150 million. So maybe they've increased it a bit more. So I need to check out the, that information there. And yeah, I'm looking forward to a French Grand Prix at the circuit, Paul Ricard. And who is the last race winner at the French Grand Prix? It was Max Verstappen in the Red Bull. That was last season. And the race before that, I think it was Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton won two two of the last three races of the French Grand Prix. 
to me, looking at the the French Grand Prix, I f- I'm thinking like it's going to be a battle, you know, because Michael Schumacher used to win at the French Grand Prix a lot. I think he's got like five or six wins. I'm not too sure. Yeah, don't get me mistaken. But Ferrari is always strong uh, in uh, on the French tracks. Like they're strong at Manu Court. They're strong at Paul Ricard. And they're strong at, there's another track. I can't remember the name right now. So yeah, um, yeah, Ferrari is always strong in France, yeah, and Red Bull is gonna be strong as well. But at the moment, Ferrari have the pace. So at the French Grand Prix, I expect, uh, I expect Leclerc to be very strong. I expect Sainz to bounce back, and I expect Verstappen and Perez to be very strong. Plus the Mercedes joining in the party. So yeah.